Hello my friends, how are you doing? It is time for some secret sauce and today I want to show you a usage of the patch tool that you probably didn't know about. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that, let's get started. So. We have a super cute cat here and on the left side you can see here we have the patch tool. In case you're not seeing this icon, click on basically this area, this icon and you will see either of these icons and then select the patch tool. Let go of the mouse, you have the patch tool here and usually what the patch tool does is that it removes things that we don't want to have in the picture. For example, back here we have this kind of color splotch or whatever dirt so let's select that area and then we can replace it by another area like this so this is usually what you would do with the patch tool but you can use the patch tool to clone things and the amazing thing is then other than the clone tool it gives us a full preview of the object that we are going to clone so I want to give you a quick comparison. So here we have the clone tool. Of course, you can resize that any size you want. And then you hold the Alt key and you click the source, for example, the nose here. And then you can start to paint your second cat over here. The problem is it doesn't give you a full preview of the cat. I want to show you another option that you can do with the patch tool, amazingly enough. So let's select again the patch tool. And then up here you have all these different options and the first one are about selection but this one is the important one selection is source this means it's going basically the other way around from what you've seen before what i've showed you with the splotch on the stair okay so let's click this and then make a quick selection around the cat you can see you click and hold the mouse button and then select the cat don't forget the beard hair don't forget the shadow on the ground but still make kind of a close selection around your cat there we go or any other object you want to clone like that and now you can see we have like a cat brush basically that we can use and you can see we see a little bit of the stairs in the background so let's find a point where um this is lining up good enough so we can put the cat down and Mm, this looks good okay so it's low resolution because it's a preview let's click somewhere else and it's calculating and boom second cat and with zero effort we have the double cuteness in our picture with this cat of course i want to point out affinity photo doesn't 100% integrated super well so you can see here you have a little bit problem sometimes in the stairs not a problem for us we will simply go over here click and hold again and select the in paint brush and then brush a little bit over these areas so we can fix them so they look good is there any other area we have kind of a step in here maybe there and maybe down here and maybe also whoops that was a little bit too much well it worked out it worked out great okay let's go down here and there we go i think this was all of them and boom double cuteness in seconds so this is really an amazing usage of the patch tool to clone something with a full preview of what you want to clone i hope you like this secret sauce tip let me know in the comment if you want to see more of these kind of secret sauce things to show you and maybe subscribe to my channel, maybe like this video, maybe share it with your friends if you like. That's a good idea. This will help my channel very much. And I want to see you in the next episode. Bye.